Today we're going to talk about Steiner's theorem. It is a theorem about trapezoids. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral like this one, such that two of its opposite sides are parallel. So this side is parallel to this side. Now to see what Steiner's theorem claims, we first need to draw some lines. So Steiner's theorem says that if we draw this line here, then these two points, the point here and the point here, they are the midpoints of the parallel segments. So this equals this and this equals this. So firstly, let's try to prove that this point, this midpoint and this midpoint lie on the same line. And then we're going to see what we can say about the intersection of the diagonals. First of all, we can notice that we have some equal angles because of the parallel lines. So this angle equals this angle and the angles here are also equal. And therefore we get two similar triangles, the small triangle here and the large triangle here. They're similar. And so we can draw their medians, the median of the small triangle and the median of the large triangle, like this. But now notice that we had similar triangles, and these medians are corresponding elements in similar triangles. And corresponding elements give the same angles in the two triangles. For example, in these two similar triangles, if I draw their medians, then the corresponding angles that the medians are going to make here and here are going to be equal. And similarly in our picture, we have that this angle equals this angle here. And because these two angles are equal, we can say that this line and this line are exactly the same line. All right, so we got that this point, this midpoint, and this midpoint lie on the same line. Now let's draw the two diagonals. They intersect at some point here. And now again, we have two similar triangles. This triangle is similar to this triangle because the angles are equal because of the parallel lines, like this. This angle equals this angle, and this angle equals this angle. But now in the two similar triangles, we have corresponding medians again, this median and this median. Now because they're corresponding elements in similar triangles, they give the same angles. For example, this angle here should equal the corresponding one in this triangle. So let's see which is the corresponding one. It is in the same triangle with this angle. So this angle goes here. And so the corresponding triangle is this one. So the corresponding angle is this one. So this angle equals this angle. But that means that these three points lie on the straight line. So this angle here is 180 degrees, which means that these three points lie on a single line. And therefore the intersection of the diagonals lies on this line, the green line that we've already proved. So finally, here's how the picture looks like. Here's today's optional problem. We have a triangle, and we draw the altitude of this triangle here in black, and then we take the midpoint of this altitude, which is here and we take the midpoint of the bottom side of the triangle, which is here. And then the red thing is a rectangle that is inscribed in the triangle. So all these are right angles here, 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 and here. This point lies on this side, this point lies on this side, and the base of the rectangle lies on the base of the triangle. So that's a rectangle, and we need to prove that the center of the rectangle lies on this line defined by the two midpoints. And here is the solution. There are lots of trapezoids for which we can use Steiner's theorem. For example, this trapezoid right here. Let's try to use Steiner's theorem. Well, we have this point here, and we have a midpoint of one of the bases. And so the line defined by this midpoint and this point will define the Steiner's line for the trapezoid, which passes through the midpoint of the other base and the intersection point of the diagonals. In this case, we're going to just need the midpoint of this side. So we get something like this. We take the midpoint of this red side of the rectangle, and now we have that this point, this point, and this point lie on a straight line. Similarly, we can do the same thing for this trapezoid right here. After all, because we have a rectangle, this angle here is 90, and this angle here is 90, and so the two lines are parallel, as were these two. So we got that the midpoint here of this altitude, the midpoint here of this side of the rectangle, and this point lie on a straight line. Now notice that in a rectangle, this side equals this side. And so the midpoint, when we take the midpoint, this side is going to equal this side. So I can mark them like this. And now I'm going to apply Steiner's theorem for the rectangle itself. And so I get that this midpoint and this point and this midpoint lie on a single line. And it might look a bit silly to use Steiner's theorem for a rectangle, because it's kind of obvious from the symmetries of the rectangle that these three points lie on a single line. And also let's notice that this line is parallel to the base of the rectangle and the base of the triangle. 
And that's because in an isosceles triangle like this one here, the median is also the altitude. So this angle must be 90 degrees. But this angle here is also 90 degrees, so this line is parallel to this line. And so we got another trapezoid here, this one. So in this trapezoid, we have this point here and the midpoint of one of the bases, and they form this dashed blue line. But it must also pass, due to Steiner's theorem, to the midpoint of this base. And is this point here the midpoint of the base? Oh yes, because we have congruent triangles. This triangle here is congruent to this triangle, the, the other, the symmetric one. And so the two altitudes, or the two medians that we got, they should have equal length. Or you can say just because of the symmetries of the rectangle. For example, the, the rectangle is symmetric with respect to this perpendicular bisector of the space here. So these two sides here are equal. And due to Steiner's theorem, this point, this midpoint here, and the midpoint of this side here lie on a straight line.